pleasure was never meant to come from a woman. Listen, I'm going to say that again. Real pleasure was never meant to come from a woman. Women give men pleasure, but real pleasure comes from creative thinking and then seeing what you think come into reality by the work of your hands. That's real pleasure. Real pleasure is being on your purpose. That's how you keep from falling head over heels in love with a woman where you can't function cut the bra gone. Where you can't function cut the bra out there acting up in public. You've got your purpose. Your purpose is more important than her. Your mission in life is more important than her. Whatever your grind is, whatever your contribution to society is more important than her. You never overvalue her because you can't overvalue her because you got your purpose. Your purpose was with you before you ever knew who that woman was, before she knew who she was going to be. Your purpose was there. Man, you got to be on your grind, on your mission to put yourself in position so you can stop fishing and wishing. You got to do the things that you need to be here to do. That's how you value yourself too much to deal with a woman's shit. I ain't, I'm not going to deal with no woman's stuff. Man, I'm too rich for that shit. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the atmosphere. Welcome to the Alphasphere, the only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. Reverend Jackson has experienced real pleasure. Yeah. Because this house was an idea in his mind. An architect took it from his mind and put it on paper. Yeah. He gathered his flock and they went to work and what was an idea became reality. reality. Yeah. The word became flesh. Yeah. So on the day that this house was open, joy, 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 joy that no female could give. Yeah. Ah. Because now this house, this reality from the mind can house thousands yeah. now yeah, yeah. that can be inspired to go out and make a difference in the world. Yeah. But as long as you as a man lay down at night yeah. and dream about your greatness, yeah. but you are never able to manifest how great you are, yeah. then the pain of being non-productive yeah. makes you seek pleasure that keeps you non-productive yeah, non look at it look at it. look at it. let me tell y'all something right now and i've been saying this for years on this platform if you are a man who chases women all the time you ain't got no money it ain't no man who got no money chasing women all the time if your whole mission in life is to get the next woman and the next woman and the next woman you ain't got no money you ain't getting no money because there's value that comes. We can sit right here and act like ain't no value in money. There's some value in money. Now, money don't make you a, a full, a full, uh, don't give you the full complement of, of skills and traits and characters, character traits rather, no, that make you a man. But money has value. And when you make money, it gives you value. And if you're around here chasing women all the time, you ain't got no money. When you get money, your pull-up game change. Everything change. The confidence with, with you walk in somewhere changes. When you go shopping, it changes. When you go shopping and you got a $25,000 limit on your credit card, you, your shopping changes. Even if you buying the same stuff, your shopping experience changes because you are in the store. And deep down in the recesses of your mind, you know it ain't nothing in there that you want that you can't buy. It's a different mindset. And it causes you to look at everything else in life in proper value. So when you ain't got much money, you are overspend on something that look like you got money. When you start getting money, you're trying to get a deal on everything. Because you know what? You remember how it was to not have money. So you're standing on a different principle. So you ain't chasing no woman. You know why? Because the confidence with, with which you enter an environment turns women on. They feel it. You walk in with your chest up, with your, with your chest out, and your head up a certain way. When you look at women, you don't look at women with want and desire. You look at women like, hey, bitch, I'm in here. I'm in here. B-O-A in here, baby. I'm here. You look, at that women, you look at women in a way, instead of looking at them like, I want you, you look at them like, I know you want me. You ain't got no man like me in your life. The whole experience is different. So when you hear Farrakhan say this, 
then you must understand that if Farrakhan says this and BOA says this, that should be enough for you not to listen to anybody who says anything contrary. Chasing women is a waste of time because it never gives you any fulfillment. It gives you one thing. It gives you the opportunity to give your testosterone away. That's all it does. If you got to motivate yourself by getting a woman, you ain't got no money. As you become more successful, in, 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 and let's just get away from the money, you ain't on your purpose. If you ain't doing the thing you were put here to do, yes, you need a woman to make you feel fulfilled as a man. You need a woman to give you the, the, the knowledge of, of what it means to be a man. Yes, being dominating a woman intimately, that is a part of being a man, but it's a very small part of being a man. It is not the prize. It is what happens after you are the prize. After you put yourself in a position where you know you are the prize. See, we could talk about it. I'm the prize. I'm the prize. But 75% of men don't even think they're the prize at all. But they just say it because it sounds good. But they don't carry themselves like they the pride. They don't walk like they like they the pride. They don't talk like they the pride. They spend all their time worrying about a woman. And so that's why you get online talking about, well, my baby mama, I wish my baby mama wasn't all over there with that with her cheeks out dancing on Usher. Man, I wouldn't give a damn. Usher can have it, bro. Usher ain't me. Usher got more fame than me. Usher probably got he got more paper than me. But Usher ain't me. You put the woman in the room with me and put her in the room with Usher, she's going to have a totally different experience with me. Once that star power shit wear off, then she's going to have a totally different experience with me. I guarantee you, if, if besides just tricking off on her, putting money in her pocket, put money in her pocket, man, Usher can't affect a woman like the way I can't joke my presence. I'm not concerned with a dude like that. I'm not concerned now one of these dudes out here. Ain't no concern of mine because only one BOA. It's only one. It's only one King Easy, right? It's only one Markel. It's only one L, dog. It's only one Taquan. It's only one Charles Anthony. It's only one God first ready made. It's only one's love and dating Los Angeles. It's only one Sean Vire. You understand? It's only one. And I'm that one. So if what I am ain't what you want, then you ain't no woman I need to be concerned about anyway. You put your seed in a woman, okay, Kiki Palm, your baby mama. Okay, she acting like she want to be a single mama. Let her be a single mama. Make her be a single mama. Make her find a stepdaddy for that baby. Man, I'd be going my, I'd be going on with my life so quick. You know what I'm saying? She'll just be a single mom. Yeah, am I gonna take care of my kid? Yes, I'm gonna take care of my seed dog off top. I'm gonna do that. But when it comes to anything else, man, bro can't tell me nothing. It ain't no bouncing back, ain't no coming back. I don't even want, I don't even want you like that. And let's be honest, Kiki Palmer ain't the she ain't the ugliest girl in the world, but she damn sure ain't the prettiest either. So let's get back into this thing, man. A lot of single mothers who go after weak men. Right. So you women will, a lot of women will tell you all day, oh, being a stepdaddy is honorable. And a lot of them, they know damn well that man ain't going to get nothing out of it. They know damn well that they can up and leave, take half of his income, get, get, uh, get alimony, depending on if they are able to swindle him into legally adopting the children, they can put him on child support. In certain states, you don't even have to put them, you don't even have to have the man legally adopt him. If you can prove that he played a father figure role, you can put that man on child support. When men decide to take on responsibilities that are not theirs, they're taking a very big risk. I do not, me personally, because I can only speak for me, I don't, I do not see how it's worth it. When Women are usually the ones that leave the relationship. Imagine getting into a relationship with a woman. She got a child. You become attached to the child. Then she up and leave. Knowing you got an attachment to that child. And then she look at you and say, you know, a lot, a lot of single mothers who go after. Let me tell y'all something, man. Here's the thing. All women will settle for the man who gives them the security that they need to be comfortable in life but they still hold out hope that they could change the man they really want. See, there's a man that a woman really wants, but that man that she really wants probably ain't going to give her the thing that she, that she, that she thinks she needs. He ain't going to give her the thing that she thinks makes her life comfortable. You understand? But so she'll, she'll go and take everything she can get. She'll go and take everything she could get from that other man, from the man that she's settling for. See, we always say a woman can't settle for a man. Them lies. Let's stop acting like all men are equal, man. We not. We not. You got to make yourself in your own mind, in your own spirit. You got to make yourself a boss. And so a woman will settle for whatever you'll give her. If you put a woman in a position she don't deserve, she can know she don't deserve it. She ain't going to turn it down. 
She ain't going to turn it down. She'll take that position knowing she don't deserve it, knowing she ain't going to give you the things that you deserve, but for her being in that position or the things that that position require. But once you put it in there, especially a situation like your baby mama or your wife, you stuck. You're even more stuck if it's your wife. But homie, he ain't stuck. Darius Jackson ain't stuck with her. He can bounce. But you hear this woman say, being a stepdad is a position of weakness. It's a position of weakness because you give more than you receive. Let me tell y'all something, man. I'm a man, dog. I'm not giving more than I receive willingly. I don't give a damn about that. Whatever blessings come from giving more than, if you want to call them blessings, whatever come from giving more than I receive willingly, I'll leave those blessings to somebody else. I ain't doing that. I wasn't born to do that. I'm a man, dog. I'm not going to be giving more than I receive willingly. I'm not going to be in no situation where I'm doing all the giving and I ain't getting nothing back. I'm just not going to do it. It don't make sense. I'd be foolish to do that, but men do it all the time. And that's one of those situations. And you got to understand this. We live in a society where dudes really believe you can't become what you need to become if you ain't got a woman on by your side that it take a woman to help you grind up. No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. It don't take a woman to do that. So when you see, when you add a woman to your life and she's a help me and you, and you come up some more, that's simply because it's her job. But here's the thing. It don't mean shit. You got an extra person to take care of. If you're a single man and you got a million dollars, you get a wife, you need two million dollars. You got to take care of two people. You've been taking care of one person off a million dollars, so it ain't no great come up. It, man, dudes kill me with that. Man, talking about, well, you know, well, well, I was already doing good, but look where I'm at since I got my wife. Of course, it's her job to help you grow shit because it takes more. All she do is make you hustle harder because you're going to be broke if you don't. Need more kicks in. But you ain't going to do just infinitely better than I'm just going to do better just because I got a wife. There are plenty of men who get a wife and fall the hell off. So let's be realistic, man. Let me tell y'all, man, what happens in your relationship when a woman finally don't want to act like she love you or even like you anymore, then she just becomes who she already was. That woman ain't being no different than what she was. This is what she already was. She been this. But she wanted a child. And so when a woman want a child, having a child, when a woman gets pregnant, it turns her into something. I mean, unless she's just an all-out, straight-up flatbacker. If she's just a flatback 304, ain't nothing you can do about it, man. But even if flatback 304, man, she'll just she'll lock in with one with one dude, man. And I ain't, I ain't bragging about this, man. And uh, I tell y'all about these things because <clears throat> I want y'all to know that I ain't perfect. Man, I had this little chick, man. Uh, this this should be moon, many moons ago, man. And uh, I used to knock her down, man. And uh, so she got with this dude, man. And I kind of. I kind of stopped knocking her down, man. What she got with dude? Uh, not for any other reason other than you know, I just had, I just had other options. I had too many chicks, and I it, it was, I, it was almost like I needed to get one of them out of the mix. So she got out of the mix, man. So I bumped into her again, man. And uh, so you know, I, I, I don't, I don't. Back then, I wasn't really asking a woman no questions about you know what was going on in her life, man. Cause I, shit, I ain't had time to do one thing. All I had time to do break it back. So. Man, I started back knocking her down, man. Listen, man, and, and I ain't saying this because I'm bragging. It's actually pretty filthy. You know, this is pretty disgusting of me. Man, let me tell you something. When I met, came across her again, man, she was like two months pregnant. It wasn't mine. Man, let me tell you something. I knocked her down all the way through, all the way through until, I'm talking about, man, listen, the day she went and laid, I had just knocked her down the night before that. I'm talking about all the way through the whole pregnancy, man. You know what I'm saying? And Again, I'm not saying that to be bragged, man, because I'm pretty disgusted in myself about it. The shit is pretty disgusting when you really think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, spiritually, for me, it's disgusting. Physically, I'm being, I enjoy myself, boy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know, know what that pregnant thing here. Like, physically, I enjoy myself. But spiritually, I, I, I'm disgusted in myself spiritually, man. Like, that, that was just, no, that was... It was just, a, it, it was disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Now in retrospect, but hindsight of 2020, during the time, boy, my eye was blind. But uh, I say that to say, man, that a woman's energy will change most times. And what happens is the same thing they have with Kiki. A woman energy lock on to the man that she want. A woman energy lock on to the man that she want. And I'm telling y'all like this. You got to know a woman energy, man. If a woman that had that energy connection with any man before, that energy connection is always going to be there with that man. So all things have to do is go a little bad for y'all or she get a little she get a little itch that need to be scratched. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, brothers, it is so easy to find yourself in a situation where you put a woman in a wife position and technically her heart and soul belong to another man. 
So I'm not, listen, I'm not even, I'm not even down in that. I'm not even saying that. Now, in that situation, I was wrong, but here's the thing. He wiped up my bra. You know what I'm saying? She was, she was attached to me. You know what I'm saying? I was her imprint. So he wiped up, he 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 did wrong to himself. Now I should have stayed out of the way, but he did wrong to himself. Because, you know, I was already, you know, I shit, that thing, that thing belonged to me. And that's what happened. That's why she, that's why I was, you know, that's why I, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I ain't see the kid, man. That boy probably looks just like me after all that. <laughs> hey man, let's get back into this thing, man. Let's get back into this, man. I think being a single woman is more lucrative than being a woman in a relationship. I don't be think single. So. You don't think it's more lucrative for a woman to be single? No. I think a woman will make more money by herself, but I think a man makes more money with a woman. Mm -hmm. A woman will help open more doors for a man. Mm -hmm. A man will not help open more doors for a woman. Man That's, won't help no. open more doors for a woman. No. You don't feel like Why that? though? No. Because women are what? Assets. I do agree in the, in the sense, but I also disagree because I think women are perceived more valuable that are in relationships, right? Because I think ultimately most women actually want to be in relationships. So most women actually look up and revere the women that are in happy relationships the most. We're not talking about being happy. We're talking about making money. Here's the reason why. When you're single, you can sell sex. When you're in a relationship, you don't. You guys think the value is the selling of the sex part. A woman's value is selling sex. Society believes that. Yeah, I disagree with you guys completely. I feel like at any point in time, relationship is always going to be more powerful than being single. So you're not talking, I'm, I'm talking not, about being lucrative. Right. I believe that it's always going to be easier for two people building something than one. You could look at people who are in powerful relationship. All of them got better from their relationship. Whether you want to talk about Michelle Obama, about Beyonce, Aisha Curry, whoever you want to talk about. They got more powerful, more lucrative, more money, more notoriety, more fame by having these strong relationships. Exactly. When you look at, let, let's, let's take a Beyonce. When you look at her, yeah, she was already dominating her game, but she didn't become a boss until she got with a boss. Now, granted, at a certain level in this society, when you show up to those doors, it's better to have a woman on your arms. A lot of those guys, that's just how it is. Like, they're not going to let you into the money, all the way into the money, if you don't have a family. Like, they're not going to let a, a man with no family all the way into the money. So I would have with 50, he was on his way. They broke him down. He had to start back over in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, um, in the TV production game. They broke him all the way down in the music game. You know what I'm saying? Eminem, he ain't trying to get in there. If you're trying to go through that next door, well, you starting, to, you starting to run up on that billion, that status. Kanye wouldn't have got there if he ain't married somebody. But Kim is richer now because after she got with Kanye than she ever would have been by herself. So when you hear guys talk, guys are in, a, in this fantasy bubble world where they believe it takes a woman to get you to the next level. It depends on where you are to get to get through certain doors. But n most of us are never going to get to those doors. Those doors are the doors where we talk about not people that not people who are rarely even seen in public. You know, we talk about J and B. Come on, man. How many J? How many J? How many people you know that's on that level personally? I don't know any that's personally on that level. I don't have any billionaires on speed dial. I got some millionaires on speed dial, but I don't have no billionaires on speed dial. So we out here looking in the regular world out here, man, for real. If you're a man out here getting it, man, yes, your life is going to be better if you link up with a woman who's getting money. You know what I'm saying? Now, there are some things that you're going to have to compromise. And most of us, when we're getting money, we don't want a woman who's getting money. Like, we want a woman who can do the other things. You know what I'm saying? The things that money can take care of, we got that. We want a woman who can do the other things. But... If you got the if you got the ism in you, then of course you want a woman who gets some paper, your life is gonna be better. So when you hear guys have these conversations, man, you just gotta you gotta think about it this, man. When you put your life on the line for what you believe in and what your goals are and what your purpose is in life, anybody who comes into your life has to be a help. <laughs>